everyone, Constantine here. Today I'm going to show you how to style this wig, which is modeled off of Chitara from Thundercats. So let's take a look. Hey everyone, Constantine here. Um, I'm sitting in Angie Viper's uh, apartment today. That's Angie Viper's hand. <laughs> here, move your head in. And today I wanted to give you guys a little tutorial on how to style a Chitaro wig. Anyway, so let's dive right into this here wig tutorial. Okay, so what I have is a wig from Epic Cosplay, epiccosplay.com. It's actually, that's the place I now exclusively get all of my wigs from because I think they're the best cosplay wig seller uh, ever. They're, they're thumbs up there <laughs> or metal horns. Um, so this wig uh, is an 18 inch long wig and it's in the autumn gold color. Again, I wanted to go for slightly a more like realistic version of Chitara. So if you picture Chitara translated into reality from the comic, um, a lot of times her hair is more like just straight orange or straight kind of a yellow, but this is more of like a golden blonde. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing with this wig before anything else is I place it on the wig head and I've combed it out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply uh, heat to the wig. Right now all of the wig fibers here really want to go forward, but her hair is slicked back. So I'm going to be applying heat to get all of this to move all the way backwards. sort of have the wig hair on the top of the head slicked back as you can see. The reason why you always see so many people wearing wigs with bangs or wigs with like side cut is because the top of the wig has a really ugly, you know, line where you can see that it's a wig and not real hair. And so I'm sort of going to be mitigating that by doing more of like kind of like a side sweep. That's the next step. So after you use the heat to get the hair to slick back uh, using hairspray as you go to make it hold. Um, Cool. Uh, then you're going to sort of start teasing this top part and giving it some volume. Also uh, using hairspray to make it stay in place as you go. Alright, so let's start doing that. I'm still in the teasing process. You can kind of see where I am with it. This side has yet to be teased. On this side has been teased. So you can see again, I'm going for like a lion's mane. Because they're cats made of thunder. Meow. Meow. everyone so as you can see I now have the wig on so after you're done teasing it on the wig head you're gonna want to put it on your actual head just to make sure you kind of know what it looks like and it's not too crazy when I first put mine on this was sort of going straight back and it just looked a little bit too a little too intense which is not to say that it doesn't still look intense but it looked more so once it's on your head and kind of in a shape that you like and fortunately it's all just teasing so it's kind of malleable you can change it later if you want you just take hairspray and you spray a ton of it on your head. Like this amount times like 10. Because it's Thundercats, which was made in like 1985. And it's the 80s. The fucking 80s. The fucking 80s. And you want to use hairspray because that's what people did in the 80s. So yeah. <laughs> the 80s. Next is the spots. As some of you guys are aware from looking at the artwork, Chief Tara has spots on her hair. Somehow, magically, because she's a cheetah, and cheetahs have spots. Duh. Even though cheetahs don't have long hair or, um, you know, boobs. Boobs. <laughs> That's what I was getting there, Angie. <laughs> Anyway, so what I'm going to do, again, because I'm going for more like a, like a tribal look, is I'm putting feathers in her hair. And then I'm probably going to attach them with hot glue, or you can just place the feathers in there, and they'll probably stay, like, day at the convention. Um, and I'm just placing them where I like, and hopefully you guys can see. Hi everyone, 
so now I'm in my completed Chitara costume. I don't have uh, my gauntlet on, but you can kind of see what I'm wearing. So this is my completed Chitara wig. I'm personally very happy with how it turned out, even though it's not maybe 100% accurate to how her hair looks. Um, and you can see the feathers that I applied here in the side of my hair to replicate her spots, her little cheetah spots. So yeah, this is a super easy wig to style if you'd like to replicate my technique. And there will be more photos of my costume and the wig up on my blog at ConstantineInTokyo.com. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you later. I wish you were in the frame, actually. <laughs> this is what happens when we do wig tutorials together. Besties! <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't cheese it Oh, anymore. fuck. That thing's been recording the whole time. Huh. huh. I wonder what, if I just... Camera? Yeah. I wonder if I just didn't unrecord it or say stop recording. Hey, what the hey. fuck in the 80s? Angie's styling her wig. <laughs> Fucking love you. Fucking love you. Fucking love you more. <laughs> We're actually not drunk right now. That's the sad part. <laughs> this is us normal. <laughs>